who's the biggest winner in last week's presidential debate? And do we believe it's time for President Biden to step down? Um, Van couldn't be spicy, so can I be or no? <laughs> no um, knock yourself out. I guess. Sorry? Um, you want me to yeah. go lightly? Okay. I, big, I, think, I think there's an obvious answer, right? So go ahead. <laughs> um, biggest winner is um all the international leadership who is looking at us, saying this will be an easy win if he stays in office. Um, is it time to step down? We we're talking about this offline. Um, Trump has some lies in there, but he had a solid performance. He took it easy on Biden. To the Democratic Party, I need you to understand this is in 1980 or 1960. You cannot spin the truth when people can see with their eyes. To the shadow government, I want no smoke. Shout to B613. I'm going to stop there. Um, should Biden step down? Yes, if they want a chance to win. Are they, uh, and I know Jason Calacanis has been pushing for a hot swap. Are we going to get one? Probably not. But I think it's clear that there is a change for leadership. And I said this in Stock Club, too. Notice that <laughs> after the debate, Hillary didn't say nothing. Gavin Newsom didn't say anything. Auntie Shell for sure is not saying anything. Be mindful of who's not talking. Also, too, back to this AI conversation, Troy Rashad, because I'm done with the little spicy stuff. Notice that all the rich people who aren't talking right now. Why? Because they're building. They're building. They know what's coming. All of a sudden, ah, hey, Bill Gates, if I'm Warren Buffett, ah, I'm not going to leave all your money in your foundation. I'm going to let my daughter do it. There's a lot of rapid changes happening. I think this is a more critical time than 2020, probably by five or six X. So, um, but I'll pair back to you. <laughs> I, I will say, I think it, it was a pretty obvious uh, who uh, was the biggest winner. Um I don't I won't necessarily say that that um Trump performed had a great performance. Um obviously they did the fact check and majority of the things he said were untruths. Um but I don't know if he even had to I think it was consistent. I think he was consistent in who he is. Um I was Absolutely. gravely disappointed in what I saw from our president. Mm -hmm. uh, um I mean, we, 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 we've been seeing this, right? And it hasn't been live for us, right? It wasn't even now we, we were saying prior to it. I don't know if him debating is going to be the best idea, but maybe he can put on a surprise performance. What he did was the absolute no happen when you are losing train for thought, when you have to speak with in a concise fashion. I mean, you at one point, it felt like he was throwing alley-oops for him to, to try to be attacked. Um, yeah. It, it just wasn't a great performance. And I was getting text messages from people I had no idea would be watching. So, I mean, that in one sense is encouraging, right? Like people are paying attention. Maybe they're trying to see like, if I do do it, who am I gonna, who is it gonna be? Uh, and I think we're back to the people who are gonna support him are gonna support him and vice versa. But it's tough for, even for me, like who I said, like there's a chance that there will be, when it comes down to November, there's a lot of time until that point there could be a change. I'm gravely concerned. Democrats, get your house in order. Gravely concerned. I wasn't, when I heard some of the, the, the political uh, columnists, I read some, and, and the, the strategists who were on network TVs, when they were calling for them to step down, I felt like that was responsible. I did. I, I, that was my initial reaction. Like, this... Mm -hmm is like we can't see another performance like that in fact there should be no more debates like i don't know if that's a strong point and then i obviously the health concerns came into it like yes this is an 81 year old man i, I know people hate when we bring up ageism but it is a, it, it's a factor then it was yeah. he, maybe he was sick now that was the first day and then the next day when i see him do a rally and say i'm not the greatest at debating but i am i still know how to run this country i'm like oh he's just gonna double down on this i yeah. thought it was a horrific performance and so i understood people calling for him to step down the problem is is it is it too close who's the person that becomes a whole nother thing um but i'm gravely concerned about the what what the democratic party looks like over the next months leading up into the convention in uh, august shout out to everybody out there that has to hear information from white media to be confirmed i said 
he had no chance of winning six months ago. What, what do you mean that hurt yeah, like a year ago? I'm saying as far as now, everybody is like in an uproar. Like, yo, like this is obvious. What happened? This is this is obvious. But, like, there so, should be no surprise. I'm not just talking to you specifically. I'm just no, saying, I'm saying not me. I'm just saying that. that I'm just saying like there should be yeah. no surprise that this happened. Even Ian have been saying that he had no chance of winning. I, even when I went to Congress and I, I I met with them and I said like I don't I literally said I don't see how he wins see how I don't see how he wins right but because any in all fairness the common sense you see somebody okay. right <sighs> the public support is not on his side right we already know that foreign policy he's been getting killed from foreign policy millennials don't like him he's losing black um support by the day black men are totally. He's eroded that that base. Yeah, we ain't gonna forget about the super predator comments because the Latin the Latin community has not supported him. Donald Trump has been seen as bulletproof. Every he, the guy got thirty two felonies and then raised a hundred million dollars after that. The, the, the writing's on the wall. So it's like it took this to happen, and then everybody is like, "Oh, we need to have a meeting." We, like if you would have listened to the people. Right. Probably. Not just me, the people. They did they disregard even when we do a poll. We do a poll. We had Roland Martin on shout out to Roland. But when we did the poll, we had three thousand people that voted. And we told Roland Martin, look, bro, fifty-five percent of the people said they're gonna vote for Donald Trump. Well, they could be bots and it's not we it's don't know not how accurate data, it's not accurate data, it's not accurate polling. Telling you people can see he won't go on Rogan. We're telling you what is happening in the streets right we're telling you the census of the people and then it's like well it's not a credible source we don't know we this is not da, da, da. okay if they would have listened six months ago right maybe, or now maybe, you, might, you can't change candidates now in the summer that's going to be crazy four, four, five months before the election mm -hmm. they could have avoided this problem six months ago if they really listened to the people they tried to disregard the people they thought that his support was stronger than what it was. They thought the people was going to rally. And now they're realizing like, oh, damn, we might actually be in trouble. And Donald Trump is a pathological liar. And nobody cares because a, the candidate is not strong enough to check him. If, if Joe Biden was in right state of mind, mm -hmm. as far as like on his toes, Trump just says anything. He's like, oh, this is the strongest economy America has ever had. This is the weakest America is ever. Uh, Mexico feels more empowered than ever. We have more illegal immigrants than ever. He makes these kind of statements over and over again. Mm -hmm. Or you got, you could really embarrass him like, yo, bro, you just saying anything at this point in time. Like, how is this accurate? Da -da -da -da. Like, how, how is this ever? All he says is ever, never. He uses words like that, right? But the candidate's not strong enough to even check him because mm -hmm. mentally... He, he doesn't even remember what he's supposed to say. So it's an embarrassing moment for America because you have one candidate who is damn near on, on the, the depths of dementia and another candidate who is just a raving madman saying anything. <laughs> and it, it's, it's entertaining. America. I'll give Donald Trump one thing. He's very entertaining. Yes. Um, even when he was saying, like, I don't know what you said, and I don't think you know what you said either. That's a viral that, moment. That, that was, was viral. funny. That was viral. He's saying these viral. things on purpose. But it's like if he had like mm -hmm. a, a a real astute candidate that can actually be co politically savvy and like, mm -hmm. no, this is actually inaccurate. You're you're changing your stance on this. You're just saying anything. There's so many opportunities to fact check him on the moment, and it's just it's embarrassing. It's and it's only gonna right? get worse. If they have another debate. ABC it's going to be even worse because yeah. now Trump knows how much he can push and not get any pushback. He's going to go 10 times crazier. He's going to make 10 times yeah. more crazier statements. And Biden's going to have so much pressure on him. He might actually just really collapse now because it's like at 81 years old, how much pressure can you really put on somebody that is he's let's just be honest. He's not mentally able. We have to. to yeah. Yeah. And that, yeah. that and I don't think. You, and I'm just, I'm, I'm not speaking for you, but I don't think you're saying that with any ill intent. Like, no, I just, and I'm with you. I don't, I just think f from a cognitive standpoint, it just seems to be, and you see it, but in your own words, after you left the state of the union, you said that he might have, he might have a chance. There's some stuff that you heard that may be able to swing things. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't present the facts to me. I don't think I was presented with accurate information. <laughs> So they just be honest with I'm the, I'm just, fake news. They told, <laughs> with this saying, because there's gonna be people like, yo, but yeah, you did say that. So what they told yeah, me that's true. Yeah, not yeah. to be accurate at all. That's, well, they, they still they presented me with information so, that was not accurate. So to answer our question, yeah, they, do you think that 
there's no option to step down because even with that performance, no, 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 there's an option. This no, no, here's the thing. Here's yeah. the thing. Look how much money was raised Friday after Thursday's debate. How much is raised? They, I think the, the last time I checked was at 200. For who, the Democrats? Yeah. It's not going to matter. That's, that's what I'm saying. Even so, it goes exactly like that face you just made, Ian, is what I was like, wait, what? Did you did you see Bar uh, Barack Obama? What is tax loss harvesting for? Did you see his, his tweet? Did you see him tweet up? I saw what he tweeted, but that's not an accurate tweet because you can't compare. I remember when when he when he uh, debated Mitt Romney and he lost that. Yeah, day. I, the Barack Barack Obama was forty something years old. He was as sharp true. as that. I, I'm only bringing it up because he the the what he led was that you have bad debate nights. I don't recall him having a bad debate yeah. night just because when he spoke, it was concise. He had every like. It wasn't a prompt. It wasn't like we're going to prompt you to say these things. Like, yeah, you're going to speak candidly about things that you know. What I felt like I watched Thursday was somebody that they tried to prepare. And he's like yeah. I said, he's been a lifelong politician. They tried to prepare him. He tried to stay on point, even with what was going on on the other side. Even with the black jobs comments, I'm like... But you got you could have checked him for that's, that. That's what, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like self open, bro, but it's like a, it's like a boxer. It's you, like you cause inflation. He's, I'm like he's, he's like Deontay Wilder. He just throws wild punches. If you was a disciplined fighter like Floyd Mayweather, you'd be able to just pick your spot apart. and just knock him out. The fact is that Biden is so disheveled himself. While he's throwing wild haymakers, he's just like yeah. covering for protection. Like he's not even yeah. fighting back. But the Democrats, this is their fault. You 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 run away from Jamal Bowman. Right. And you, you leave him out to dry and he doesn't get reelected. Yeah. So it's like, look, at some point in time, you got you got to you got to be held accountable for this mistakes that you're that you're making as a, as the party. You you have loyal to support who you want to support. You pick and choose. You pick and choose your your your, your candidates that you want to prompt up. You pick and choose who you want to accept money from. And now you want to just have like, oh, no, we need to rally support because if if. um if he wins, this is people texting me like if if he wins, he being Trump it's going to go back to like Jim Crow days. Right. And it's going to be so bad for black America. Well, well, you can't wait to four months of, uh, before the election to paint this fear mongering thing. You should have been you should have had this laid out for four years. You should have been empowering black people for four years. And I know that they're going to say that they did and they gave so much money for HBCU. I don't know. It wasn't enough because the black people haven't, they're not happy. Right. So it's not just me. This is millions of black people that do not feel happy with the, the administration, the job that they have done. And somebody's yeah. got to pay for that. Yeah. As I say, even with the That's HBCU thing, the, and, and I'll let you go, but the, the, the HBCU, they, it was brought up. Well, there was that misconception, and we've had plenty of conversations with, with, with Democratic officials and people who support the party about the misleading information. Well, he says he did this for HBU, GC, uh, HB, uh, historically black colleges, but this is what we've actually done, like yeah. ten, tenfold, right? And then the conversation comes up about it, and then you don't, like, you got to stand your ground on that. Like, no, these are the actual facts here. Um it was it was unfortunate you to watch. Can't think, bro is eight. He's yo, his brain is not there. Yeah, you, bro. you know who they no disrespect to you know who they call citizens, up? but you oh. would trust him with your kids. Like, would you? No, trust, I, would you trust him with your kids? I think I, it, I, I, I think it needs to be an age limit when it comes no. to elected officials. But, but Ian, go. But would you, I, would the, you trust the age. Him with your kids? I would. The age limit. He needs somebody with him. So it may not be with your kids. How you gonna trust him with nuclear codes and the and the key to the world? So do we? And I'm gonna throw it to you, and then and I'm I let you go. Trust either one of them yeah, with my kids. Right. By the way. Exactly. I, I want to throw it to you. So if he decides, right? They were in Camp David this weekend. If he decides, he talks to his family, right? And he's like, "Look, I'm gonna step down." Who do you think would be the next person? And then there, just you can take it from there. There's no great candidate who wants to step on a landmine. My my. When I saw the debate, I text y'all because I normally don't even watch the debates. Yeah. I'm like Trump looked like fucking loaded lux up there. Compared to Biden, worst again. Let's be honest. Worst presidential performance in a debate in history. Gavin Newsom, who should be Golden Boy right now, not a word. He don't want to blow a shot now because he knows he's walking into a landmine. On the Republican side, man, where is Mitt Romney when you need him? And Jeb Bush and all the other the pipeline for great Republicans, right? They shot down Vivek, which probably will not be Trump's running mate. You don't have anybody on the Republican side who wants to step up. 
into this shit show that we have of a political season. That's very telling. So who would I pick? No one that is wise is going to step into this landmine now. They're going to wait for the next cycle. Kamala can't do it. Even the infighting, I'll be very quiet, but the infighting inside the Democrats. Y'all, this is the thing that we're learning. 2024, year of the truth and all that. You can't sell people a bullshit product and tell them that it's great. We've seen it across the board. We've seen it with Tesla. We've seen it with ARC. We've seen it with every company. If the product is not quality or not A1, you're not going to get A1 results. Now, y'all can do what y'all did in the last election and push them folks a certain way. Y'all still got a chance. I don't want no smoke. But I said it two years ago. Neither one of these candidates would I let run Red Panda, let alone NVIDIA, AMD, Tesla, Eli Lilly. J- I know some p- people will push for Jamie Dimon. He's not the one. At some point, though, I don't know if he want to, you know, he don't want to leave Florida, but they need to call Superman down in Miami. But I know he, you know, maybe getting tied to Lauren soon. So he probably won't want to do that. But Democrats, my message to you, because I know y'all want to say we right wing conspiracy theorists and me, and Rashad and Troy and Keys and Button and everybody, which is not true. No Democrat or Republicans paid me like which if y'all actually read a few pages a day, you can put these motherfucking pieces together on your own. I want to be clear. We're not shilling for either side. So y'all can stop that in Eclipse too. Democrats, you have to start listening to the people and stop contacting us when you need votes. You can't buy my audience. And if Paz is your biggest ambassador, it's over with. <laughs> if that's the one y'all got, it's over with. <laughs> Say the bullshit and take that to Capitol Hill and y'all go talk amongst yourselves. This ain't it. No. Pop the motherfucking balloon on all these candidates and go build somebody else. These are my thoughts. And this rant is just for entertainment purposes. <laughs> I'm not even inspired. Don't wear white jeans like the Bible. <laughs> Plies is your biggest advocate on Saturday and Sunday. No, nah, but Plies got great ideas though, which is crazy. <laughs> How we go from him trying to get Britney Spears to telling the do, the Democrats what it's crazy, it, yo? It's, it's <laughs> over with. And that little 15,000 y'all paying podcasters is not gonna get the job done. And it, I, and I've asked this question too: Why is Market Monday is not on WhitehouseGov since y'all want to help the people so damn much? They gave 1.5 million to to black media. 1.5 out of a uh, what would we say 50 million. <laughs> My thing is this, the last thing. MSNBC, the writer John Head Jones published an article about um, titled "Right Wingers Are Spreading Misinformation to Black Voters Through Podcasts and Influencers." They list uh, 19 Keys, Let's Breakfast Club. Up. Uh, Joe Button. They also list Earn Your Leisure. I actually spoke to the young lady that actually published a report, and um, we had a great conversation. She felt that it was uh, taken out of context as far how the article was written. But I'll say this to the gentleman and MSNBC as a platform: uh, It's interesting that you would list us as as a platform that has um, helped spread right wing information and, and misinformation because we've only had Democrats on, from yeah. Stacey Abrams to the Vice President to. Brother Wagstaff that was running for district attorney to Jamal Bowman, uh, you name it, right? We've had a plethora, probably over 20 uh, Democrats on. We've never actually had a right winger no on. We, we've never had, we haven't had one Republican on or we haven't had one right winger on. So it's uh, it speaks of desperation that you would try now to say that we're we're the cause of, of the Democrats' problems. Look, you have issues. No, we're not the issue. Not the problem. We've we've tried to actually empower liberal voices that we believe in. Yep. So instead of pointing the finger and making up weird conspiracy theories that we are letting our platform be run by right wingers, I think it's time to have an internal look Mm -hmm. and see why so many black people are unhappy with the Democratic Party. Right. Instead of instead of making, you know, those type of articles, it would be more productive to see why the shift has happened. Happened. And let me just take a guess. The groceries four years ago went from 120 in Walmart to 650. Probably not going to get the vote. It's economics 101. 
Okay. How about two? If y'all gonna campaign, y'all got to campaign and help you around. And see Nike going through this because remember when Nike did Kyrie wrong, and now their stock is in shambles. At some point, you have to realize that if you do black people wrong, we're not going to come back and be patriots with you. Yeah, I think they they've taken that for granted. Where it's like historically that has happened, right? Ninety, what is it? Ninety six percent. Yep. Of the black vote. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, don't, please don't call me right wing because I'm gonna get on here. Crazy. People not to vote if y'all keep it up. Why, why come bother some decent people? You don't, you you hurting your allies actually. So you're just making your problems worse. Because yeah, if we really start to pile on the the Democratic party then you're gonna have even more bigger problems so yeah, from every publication that they named if all though that audience come on not bro. <laughs> not, not 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 an intelligent thing to do but okay switch vladimir it. putin tucker carlson can you please come on the show who else uh candace owens i'm gonna go down the ranks now uh uh well, who cam getting into it with back in the day bill o'reilly where you at <laughs> we ain't seen him in a minute where is he where's he now apb last leg. alex jump bro my brother i need you Come on. <laughs> you know, you're laughing. Hey, uh, Trevor Shot, love you. Happy to be here. And you're crazy as me. Hey, Alex. Schultz. Schultz, call Alex Jones for me since we right wing. Oh, okay. Same bird. Get shellacked in, in the fall and then come back. Then 1.5 to the black media and y'all want all the black folks and you haven't helped black people. Five. What are we talking about, bro? And they try to act like it was a historic thing and we gave 1.5. 1. 1. Yeah. Okay. 